I've been sailing since I was six years of age, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. So it's, it's a life, lifelong, you know, evolution through the sport and, and, and what we do and you just develop an amazing feel for what you do, I guess, and it's no different to any other sport. The more time you spend in it, the better you get. You know, whether you're making watches or sailing a boat, you know, your hands are one of the key items of feel. And, uh, feels everything when you're sailing a big boat like Wild Oats, you know, it's, uh, it connects you with every person on the boat, every part of the boat. To build a beautiful watch that keeps accurate time, I mean, it's all in the detail, everything has to be perfect to create a good result and I think they're very similar in that regard. You know, it, it's a good luck charm to me and it means a lot and sometimes I look down at that watch and go, come on, you, I need a bit of luck here and it, and it comes good, but it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, just something, you know, it's a comfort thing. It's on your wrist and you feel good with it there and, and that's what it's all about. Time management obviously in sailing is critical, you know. Obviously the start is critical and have accurate time. You hit that starting line, bang, on, on time is a big deal. All the manoeuvres we do throughout the race is all about timing. The quicker you do it, the better it is. It's, it's never ending. You're racing against other boats on handicap, so they're all time related. So. Time's a big factor of our sport and uh, a critical one. And you know, if, if you manage it well, you can often pull off good results. Wild Oats 11 and the whole team have become you know, the most successful team ever in, in that last 71 years of the, the, the race history. So it's not very often you get to you know, write history books and Wild Oats has certainly been doing that over the last couple of years. So it's something we're really proud of and obviously we've done that along with, uh, with Rolex involved as well.